I had a lab that's very uh, clinically oriented. The main topic is diabetes, juvenile diabetes. The therapy that's afforded to these kids today experimentally in clinical trials is uh, toxic. The risk uh, increases for other diseases. One of the most interesting things we found was that the body produces an anti-inflammatory molecule every time that we're sick and we use it to prove that if you remove inflammation from the immune response, the entire complex, the entire tree of responses uh, collapses and the T-cells, uh, instead of attacking, actually start to uh, protect the islet. The communication flow in LabGuru is overwhelmingly easy and relevant. It's really easy to leave a note to one another and the note stays there all the time and it's actually connected to a project. That person can reply my concerns in the same context that I sent it. So it, it prevents this overcrowding of information. I would use the knowledge base very heavily. The knowledge base is a point where I establish a document, which is really a folder containing other documents, and I could start defining it and, and throwing things in there in such a way that I could other, afterwards start linking it to other projects. A tagging system is something that you don't normally do when you just read an article. And here, you kind of have to define what you read and put it in context. And now it sits in LabGuru and it has all these uh, connections to other ideas. It really facilitates uh, the, the scientific thinking. Planning a project with uh, LabGuru is, is an, it's really is an amazing experience for me uh, as a lab director and, and at the same time I'm the scientist behind it. I want to see the end results. I want to see roughly when I get those results. I can tell, for example, when a student is uh, scheduled to come to the lab after a vacation or after exams or after uh, or when it just begins the PhD course, I already start throwing in ideas for the project. And then I go in and out of this project until the student comes in and I put more ideas and I divide it into smaller experiments. And when the student comes in, there's already a timeline and a track and milestones and ideas for protocols. Another model that we, that we started to use just now and we're really uh, enjoying it uh, already is the equipment module. That module is uh, devoted to instruments that you have in the lab that are shared. All we have to do is log in, look at the schedule. Anybody else that was using this instrument also has the same schedule in front of him or her. And we just start planning the experiments much better. We just recently had a progress report that we had to write. That progress report came out of the blue and it's a year uh, sum of all the experiments we had. And just before I uh, went into, into a typical crisis, I just went into LabGuru and I tapped into the three or four major projects and I took out all the condensed project reports that LabGuru automatically completes. It just assembles them as you go on. And I used that as my uh, progress report for the grant and it took me a few hours. The accessibility of LabGuru from anywhere, not being a software, but being a, a web interface with a login and a password, that's a huge advantage. As a director that travels all the time and finds himself in other cities with no access, I just find a way to go to any computer and I know what's going on. Uh, the advantages are huge. The money that you save, the time that you save, time is money, the efficiency of the experiments, the, the publications you can get faster, your control of the experiments, all of that is worth money. And you really don't pay much to get all that. Uh, if we ask for something extra, if we said we have a small idea for, for LabGuru, uh, I think 70-80% of the time we actually saw it after a few weeks embedded into the software. So uh, they're very flexible and very attentive to the customers and they really, it really feels like they want us to have the best experience.